and welcome to Lytham Hall where we are setting up and we're in the middle of our getting. Something pretty awesome has just happened. Chris, do you wanna do you wanna tell everyone about it? So we put this piece of steel deck in and I just by eye did the length of the foot and we put it in and it's flush. There's no lips. And then you, you go to you go to do this. And it's smack bang in the middle of the lines. And we've not even levelled it, we just did it naturally by eye. And I've honestly never been more proud. God. Well done, guys. Well done. We did it. We did it. And our company manager is, as you can see, equally thrilled by this. It's thrilling. <laughs> this is Lytham Hall. If I pan around, they're setting up for a community choir who are going to be performing just over there. This is their first performance in 18 months, so we're really excited for them. And there's our set looking its usual wonderful self. Yeah, we sat in a very fancy room doing a cryptic crossword and I am feeling extremely fancy. Look at my cup. Look at that. <laughs> feeling fancy. I feel I should add, they feed us extremely well here. So what you've just seen, that's my starter. Main course is coming too. Mm. And for dessert, at Lytham we get this lovely community choir who do a performance and they start singing at five o'clock which it is now and then we start our performance at six and uh, we just have a little dance to their music honestly tired I am so tired I am absolutely exhausted and I am powered by the food from Lytham's cafe today and painkillers and a knee support and some tiger balm yeah yeah but all we have to do is do this show for these lovely people thank you Chris and then we can um, have a couple of days off which I'm really looking forward to we've been on the road for over half the time of the tour now so we're a bit tired right I have a feeling I have to go and do a costume change for David now so I'm going to stop recording and go and pay him into Benedict look at that man hard at work sweeping the stage <laughs> it's the only thing they hire me for. <laughs> for the whole tour, I'll be sweeping this down. Getting rid of all the water from Act 1, so we hopefully don't get wet in Act 2, or you know, slip and fall. Hi everyone, here we are for a wasp sting update. Ooh. Look at that! Wasp watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had bruise watch, didn't we, on the Tempest. This is now wasp watch. Oh. And how do we say wasp watch, Salacious? Wasp watch! There you go, <laughs> it looks... Every bit as bad as it feels, I'm not mm. gonna lie. <laughs> Hello everyone, we are finished, we are done. We are driving back to our hotel, where we now have two days off. Hooray! Good afternoon everybody, welcome to a day off. Um, so, two things of note for today. First, is I've put on this lovely shirt, which is ever so nice and comfortable, but uh, I can obviously tell I've put on a lot of muscle during this uh, run, because this shirt is distinctly tight on my arms, um, but that's by the by. Uh, today's errand um, is another one of the hazards of tour life. So um, my engagement ring, I wear on a chain around my neck to keep it safe during get-ins, get-outs and the shows. And somehow that, that process has failed me because if you take a look, that is not the shape my ring should be. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's happened to it. Well, obviously I can see what's happened to it, but I don't know how it happened. Um, so my errand today is to go and find a jeweler who will hopefully reshape my uh, my engagement ring. It's made from um, uh, white gold, which is a really soft metal. And so I can only assume that somehow it got turned on its side and squished during yesterday's get-in because it was fine when I was wearing it in the morning and it was not fine when I looked in the mirror after the get-in and saw it looking like that. So yes, today's errand. <laughs> Go get that reshaped so it is finger shaped once more. Good morning, welcome to the back of a kangoo. We have just had uh, two days off during which I could not find anyone to fix my ring. Uh, so that is now currently safely away in my suitcase because I don't want any more damage to come to it, which means I feel really naked because it's neither around my neck nor on my finger, which is very sad. But we are on our way to Castellanweather, which is in North Wales, not too far from Kelly. Um, 
every time I do this venue, the weather is disappointing. Now it has really chucked it down before, but it's also been just plain and boring and cloudy, and it looks, to be honest, like today is going to be no exception to the rule. Welcome to Plas Glyn Uedhu. Now we have a bit of an awkward drive to get our van in to do the get in here and normally someone tell else takes the van up for us i'll show you later when we get there why it's extremely tight um and he's not here yet so we're gonna pass the time by going down to the beach this looks very very different to when we came and swam down here in our clothes a merchant yeah we can see for a start it was super misty then Ooh. how pretty is this and it's so busy it's school holidays at the moment um, and with foreign travel limited this is busier than I have ever seen it. When we came down a merchant I think we were literally the only people on the beach and now look at it. Inside the main house is a really lovely gallery so we're just passing a little bit of time now wandering around and having a look at all the beautiful artwork. Here we are folks, this is the route that the van takes and as you can see it's extremely narrow and there are a number of obstacles on the way. Uh, so we have someone who does this reversing for us. Normally we manage all of our own reversing but this one is so particularly tight that the venue like to be in charge of the vehicle themselves to make sure that there's no damage done. So we'll unload here at the end of this path and then we carry the set up there and the stage is just there on that glass. It being COVID times, so we'll need to ask the driver to wear a mask when he gets in and make sure we clean before and after to keep him and ourselves safe. But I'm just going to show you the performance space we're going to be setting up in now. I'm currently still at the top of the auditorium, so we'll be setting up down there. And we've got this lovely little amphitheatre. So in a moment, as if by magic, ta-da! <laughs> This is very exciting because this venue has got the most amazing acoustics. We get to be nice and quiet, which also means we can bring different dynamics in. Obviously, when you're having to bellow your lines to be heard at the back, there aren't as many dynamics to play with. So we're excited that we get to play with that today. Since it's Plas Glim, we're doing a weather check. There has been the odd spot of rain and over there on the horizon, it's, um, well, you can't see because the, uh, the mist and the rain is blotting out the uh, horizon but we're sort of hopeful here it's bright at least it's bright so we're hoping to get through the evening without rain And now, pack down, drive to Port Maddock, and then tomorrow, long drive to Bolton in Yorkshire. Woo! -hoo. Woo! 